You know when you go over to someone's house and either you're bringing your records or you're looking at their records, there's always a little preamble before the record goes on. Where'd you buy it? Who, who, where'd you hear about it? Anyway, I want to tell you the story of my very first record. It was 1976, and my parents, my grandparents, my grandmother had a place in Florida. And we'd go down there every winter, and when we came back from that holiday, uh, our house had been robbed. And my parents were very upset, but to me this was a very exciting moment, because up until that time, we had only had an eight-track player. And the fact that it was stolen meant that we could now get a record player. And even as a young boy, I was very excited by records. I already owned a few records, including uh, a, a 45, which had Beth on one side and Detroit Rock City on the other side. And I was very excited that now having a record player, I'd be able to get real records. So fast forward a year, and I'm back in Florida, and my dad is taking me to buy my very first long player, my very first 12-inch. And we go into the record store. He says, pick whatever you want. And I picked this. This is the actual copy. It was 1977, this record had just come out, and I take this record to my dad, and I said, Dad, I want this one. And he looked at me and he said, really? But this was it, I knew what I wanted, and I couldn't believe what nine-year-old boy wouldn't be completely in love with these four guys. So of course I'm on holiday, it's a week away for Christmas with my parents, and there's no record player, all I have is this. And when I opened it up, when I opened it up, it was like I was transported into another world. I spent my whole holiday just waiting to put this record on, imagining what kind of sounds were gonna come out of guys who looked like this. Now when I got home, of course, the record did not disappoint. You put the first side on, there's an incredible screaming of, an, of anticipation, the crowd is going crazy, and the voice says, you wanted the best, you got the best. The hottest band in the world, Kiss. <gasps> Still love it, still does it for me, full goosebumps every time. Let's listen to a side right now. I'm down for that. You found the biggest uh, Kiss fan at Record Store Day Canada right here. Do you have a record that gives you goosebumps? We want to hear from you. Come down to Henderson Brewing Company the fourth Wednesday of every month and let's talk vinyl. 